Welcome back to the High Sea Airport. I'm your host, Kat Lorisella. Now, living in Lake Tai, or if you're visiting, you might have seen some animals or plants around, and we have a lot of native species that are here in Lake Tai, one of which you might have seen around. It's called the snow plant, and it's an unusual plant that can be seen in springtime among melting snow patches in Lake Tai's forests. And you might even see them right now as well. They, they do not contain chlorophyll like most green plants, which can be seen by its bright crimson color. The yellow-bellied marmot is also one you could see around Lake Tahoe. If you hear a strange cluck, whistle, or trill at the top of one of Tahoe's rocky peaks or high elevation meadows, it, will, it could be coming from the yellow-bellied marmot. The great place to see marmots in Tahoe's wild is the desolation wilderness. That's where you could see them. The Tahoe yellow cress you can find on Tahoe's sandy shores, and it's the only place in the world that Tahoe yellow cress grows. Lake Tahoe has a unique geological history leading to the evolution of this rare species only in Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe Crest is currently listed as endangered in both Nevada and California. So if you do see it, make sure you uh, step around. The mountain whitefish is also native to Lake Tahoe. It's a trout-like silver dusty green fish that's found in Lake Tahoe and can be caught throughout the winter months and are also very tasty to eat. So for more of these animals or species, if you want to you know, check more out, you can always go to keeptireblue.org. It's a really great website and has lots of information on any native species uh, you can find in tires. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled and go check them out. Get out there and enjoy the wilderness. And we'll be back with more of the High Sierra Report right after this, so stay tuned.